what I like to ask you, I, I, I could not connect with you on Facebook. Will you be uh, um, creating another Facebook page or Facebook music page anytime soon? Yeah, I'll to do uh, my, my Facebook page actually is is still uh, active. Uh, I try to connect uh, with you. Uh, also, for some reason, we could not connect, but uh, yeah. I am in the process of doing a music page, you know, separate yeah. from my Facebook you know, which yeah. would be great. Uh, I have so many loyal fans that actually has been actually has been uh, supporting me over the years that's on mm-hmm. my uh, original page. Um, so pretty much I'll, I'll be doing a music page because I'm actually uh, getting some spins uh, in the U.K., and in other areas yeah. of the country, so uh, I need to yeah. actually have directed toward that. Yeah, yes, you are in the UK. Yes, you are. I've been getting a lot of feedback on that new single, no doubt about it. So um, I like to also ask you: Will there be any other future music projects you want to let us in on about later this year? Yeah, um, actually, I'm I'm planning on. Uh, releasing something uh, uh once again i i'm getting uh, my name is starting to buzz around the country so when that happens uh i can't wait six months to come out with another single seven eight months okay. i have to i think i have to uh you know press on the gas so um, yeah i'm super, actually thinking about doing a um a bobby womack song uh, oh that's the way i feel about the that's the way you feel about you, girl. That's the way you feel about you. The way I feel about you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead, Michael Curry. So, um, I guess you will keep uh, all of us updated on your social media about any uh, new singles or any new music projects. Uh, what is the ultimate desire or wish you want your fans to get out of this new single or out of any of all of your music? Well, you know, pretty much I think I, I think, you know, music music I know that music is, is a something for the soul and and people actually gravitate toward music. Uh, a lot of folks, you know, that doesn't have the talents uh, to maybe sing, uh, play an instrument, but they really love music. So, you know, I just want people to get something out of my music, and that's why I actually record. And I, I put out love songs. I, I try to put out stuff that, that feel good songs, you know. Yeah. Uh, I try to put feel good songs out. Um, utilize, you know, the vocal that God gave me. Uh, you know, they hit certain notes, but you know, a message through the music. So I, I always want fans to come come away with with a a, a positive message through mm-hmm. you know my music, because music is like laughter; it feeds the soul. All right, as you are talking about that area right there, I would love to play the track "One Love." Uh, what's the brief story behind that track? And I think it's perfect to bring that track uh, out um, because of the uh, pandemic we're dealing with. What is the story behind One Love, that track there, before I spin it? Well, the pandemic was um, uh, one part of it, the, uh, the, 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 the George Floyd situation, the stuff that was going on during that mm-hmm. time. Okay. Economic, economic conditions, pandemics going around, you know, systemic issues. Um, I actually felt the the need to write something to do my country, my part of my contribution to the cause. I wasn't able to go and protest. I wasn't able to do all of that. But you know, I had heart set point about what was going on. So you know, I just wanted to, to react. Through my music, I know to give give the people something through my music, and one love actually it it it, uh, it it touched on everything that we were dealing with during that time, uh, and uh, it it really got some national attention. Uh, it, it was it was really played 
all around the country, and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be a message. You know, we can only do it one at a time. We can only do one at a time. If we can do one, we can we can help one person, one person, just one person, one at a time. Then that person you help help somebody. Then that person you they help yeah. someone. And and so you know that's basically what one love uh, was uh, you know okay. written for. And if you listen at the lyrics, it, it it tells everything that we we gone through and we're at the end uh, of of it by of it now. Thank God. Well, how about us go ahead and play One Love? I'll be right back. Not the cup of your face. Not the cup of your smile. The color of your skin don't define your soul. Separated by hate, demonstrations out of control. Who we are, who we hate, is the fiber in your soul, not the color of your skin. your heart and soul in that voice of yours. I love it. I love it. You are more than welcome right now to give a shout out to all the persons that have supported you and no doubt about it. Or rather in all your music, all your supporters, your loved ones. Go right ahead, Michael. Cool, cool. Yeah, you know, uh, first Jesus Christ, uh, 
my Lord and Savior, the head of my life. Uh, you know, my my family, uh, wife for the my wife for the support. Uh, uh, I like to give a shout out also to Nick, aka Chester Two Baby. Uh, he's one of the, he's one of the guys that actually um, you know pulled me up by the bootstraps. You know, you know, I was in like a little slump and stuff. Uh, he's like, man, look. And I, I hear it in my voice. He said, man, I need to get you to the studio. So I'm like, you know, I need to check this guy out. I need to make sure, you know, hey, who is he? So uh, I actually started recording with him, and he he really uh, was one of, the, one of the people that actually got me starting to be get more serious serious about recording. So I'd like to give a shout-out to uh, Nick, a.k.a. P-Baby. Um, uh, my, my guy, Lakeith, uh, who we produced the music to the track, um, no doubt about it. Uh, it wasn't by fate that he and I got together. We actually, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, we're, we're a good team. Hopefully we can do more work together in the future. Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out also to uh, Mr. Mr. Richard Boo Myers. Uh, Richard actually mixed and mastered the song, uh, Love You More Than You Ever Know. Uh, Richard, uh, mm. good Good, good friend of mine. Uh, actually, we 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 have a seven piece horn band. We play a lot of wedding and corporate events. Uh, he's a lead guitar player in the band, and he mm. actually does a lot of my mixing and mastering and production work. And uh, I think he's going to be the one that's going to actually uh, take the lead in this uh, next single that I have. So, oh, me! You know, shout out to to him about that. Uh, uh, hey, you know. I, this project, no doubt about it, could not have gotten what it has gotten uh, without this gentleman uh, that I'm going to name. His name is Jay Ross. Hey, yeah, Jay Ross. Hey, man, you know, <laughs> you know he's he promoting the record. He's, you know, he's, he's using his resources, uh, you know, um, and his resources are uh, contacting other resources. And actually, you know, that that's what happens. And, you know, it comes down to the product. You know, you got to give yeah. the promoter, got to give yeah. the, the, have to give you something. You know, that that you want to play, that your fans want to hear. You know, yeah. so I, yeah. uh, for you know, for all the efforts, and you know, I, I thank him for that. Um, I want I want to thank you. You know, for oh well, my you. pleasure, Michael Carey. You're welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. I do, I definitely appreciate you. Okay. All right, so how about let's give everybody an applause that has supported you in your music. And that they continue to do so. And that's the news. You're always welcome to come back to any of your new music projects, Michael Kelly. Congratulations on your new track. Yes, getting a lot of feedback on No Doubt About It. I will be playing some other tracks. Uh, Michael Carey. One is to tell the truth, or no, tell the truth, and the other one, let your body rock. Um, I will play the new single again at the end of the show. Um, what's the brief story about the other track, Michael Carey? Tell the truth and let your body rock. When did those singles came out? Oh, hey, they came out uh, some years ago. You know, uh, okay, came out during the time that I couldn't afford to actually uh, go to the studio. I was taking, taking, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you got a kid and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but the hits, the hits just was there. Um, you know, I recorded those songs. I actually wrote those songs. I wrote the music and the lyrics to those songs. I, I wrote all of that, but I had to go to the no. studio and get it on, um, you know. Um, and that's how those those two songs came about, and several other songs that never has been released. Yeah. I like to I like to say, you know, um, you know, I have a lot of a lot of people that have known me from back in the day, and then they say all the time, say, "Man, you still doing it, man, man? I remember you did doing this in high school and all of that." <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I mean, I can't, you know, I, I, it's it's in me. I, it's a gift. I, you know, God gave me this. You know, and I have to do it until I can't do it anymore. Uh, right. You know, thank God for my, for, you know, for my, for my kids, uh, for my family. But 
when the opportunities were there for me to yeah. go, and, and I, I couldn't go because I had I had 